when we turned over the new year from 2020 to 2021, of course, there was a lot of hope that things would be different. 2020 was such a train wreck. I mean, all anybody could think of was what's going to happen this year. Now we're three, three and a half months deep into 2021, and I'm not sure it's looking a whole lot better, honestly, in many ways. Uh, hopefully some things will change, but I was thinking about this year, and uh, I was reading in Isaiah 61 this morning, and Isaiah 61, 1 says, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Verse 2 says, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. Whatever happens for the rest of this year and all the years after this, I just love what Isaiah says here. We are to proclaim the truth, the truth of who God is, the truth of what Jesus Christ has done for us, and, and who do we do that to? He says it's good news to the poor. It's, it's, it's healing to the broken. It's freedom to those who are captive. That's the year of the Lord. And I want to challenge you today, despite everything that else that goes on in this world, despite what our government does, what our culture does, what uh, anything else that goes on around us, to look at 2021 as the year of our Lord. This is the year that we need to, more than any other before it, take the truth to those who need it. Uh, the other day in a message, uh, my in my conclusion, I said the most loving thing that we can do is tell people the truth about Jesus Christ. And I believe that with all my heart. The truth of salvation through Christ is hope. It's hope in the darkness. It's freedom to those who are bound by all of the things that oppress us in this life. And we, as Christ followers, are his messages, and we need to take that message of hope and truth. Now, there's another encouragement here in Isaiah that I want to share with you. It comes a little bit before the ones I just read in, in chapter 61. In Isaiah 55, verse 10, Isaiah says, for as the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return there, but water the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose. It shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The promise of God is when we proclaim his word, when we tell people the truth, he will do his work and he will change people's lives. 2021 is the year of our Lord.